Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and we're gonna have a look at a block tack set. We're gonna be having a look at this puppy. Alien Invasion of Doom. Space Galaxy with 434 pieces, blocks. Uh, okay, let's set this up here. I got this set, I think, uh, December of 2013. Right after LEGO Galaxy Squad uh, came out. Um, Block Tech. Got it at a local store. Uh, might be a dollar store brand, something like that. Uh, got some other block tech sets at the local dollar store. And uh, got this at a different store. I think it was $20. And that was on sale. Um, and this, this, uh, this vehicle in the middle might look familiar. I did a... Uh, I was inspired by this and I did a Galaxy Squad insectoid vehicle inspired by this four-legged thing in the middle here the insectoid uh, what's it called the Zemdari uh, Scout Walker <laughs> Zemdari Scout Walker I'll put a link to it in the description so you can see that if you haven't seen it already, um, this this shows a, a bit of uh, inspiration by uh, uh, Galaxy Squad with the insectoids. We have a uh, uh, spider-like thing, a scorpion over here. We got the four-legged uh, thing, and we have a car, moon rover type thing. Let's have a closer look got our car with a radar a little base in the back that uh, we'll have a look at that and a robot we just see part of him we don't see his legs and we get these mini figures there's a there's an alien he's he's happy he's a happy alien invader check that out and there is the vehicle that uh, inspired me and I was inspired by this and made my own based on on this uh, this overall idea here and there is the scorpion spider like monstrosity off to the side there five five figures five models to build so we're gonna have a look at, at uh, what's going on here uh, and, and check check out the uh, what, what's it, what's happening here? Block Tech Space Galaxy with 434. Now it's a act. It's 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 a big box. It's it's it's. Uh, you can see my hands here. It is a massively sized box. This is the size. And there's there's the, uh, the size of this box. You open it up. This is this is the size of you know most uh, hundred dollar over hundred dollar Lego sets in terms of the box, the size of the uh, the box. You open it up and there's a bunch of empty air in there and some bags with uh, tiny pieces. We get a lot of tiny pieces in this set. A whole bunch of mostly small pieces, small. Um, mostly plates in fact they call themselves block tech we don't get a whole bunch of blocks should call it plate tech because we get uh, we do get we do, I guess these parts are blocks we don't get a whole bunch of bricks blocks we get a lot of plates anyway you open it up and it's mostly empty space in there with some baggies you open those up they have a lot of tiny parts we have a lot of a lot of small a lot of hinges with the uh, with the grabbers the uh, little bars and the uh, the grabbers that grab onto the bars 
a lot of that stuff going on here um, lots of small parts and I can actually fit all the pieces from this set into a baggie like this a Ziploc baggie this sized so I can fit all the parts into and just just have that in the box and then the rest of its empty just wanted to put that out there first uh, don't know why the box is so big but uh, and there's a lot of graphics on the box to uh, distract us from the actual content of the set we're going to notice that as well uh, but let's let's uh, let's have a look at this 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 uh, 434 piece set and uh, check it out and here it is here are our uh, when I say five models we got the car here got our little base we got our robot I'll explain why you can't stand up in a moment we got what I consider to be the centerpiece of this set and our scorpion off to the side here um, and here are the minifigures we're gonna have a closer look at everything in a moment including the minifigures so let's set these guys aside I'm gonna have a look at this one first because this is the one that inspired me it's not bad um, little scout walker type thing there whoop he's starting to fall over yeah that's one of the problems with this we got a nice green windshield there I like that um, and there is our, our cannon array in the back I was inspired by this and built my Zimdari Scout Walker along the same lines we can move these off to the side we got uh, hinges it's a very simple build we, we got the hinges and um, in fact if we look at it from the other side, underside we just got the hinges there and then the plate is just stuck on top of them now I like to say about the uh, the grabbing power of these pieces and if we open up our, our canopy here we have these hinge pieces I must say I like this color here this this is a nice color it's too bad it doesn't show up more often and they got it in the back there and uh, a two by three plate there nice pastel blue I like that but we got the whoops we got the uh, the plate with the, uh, the the hinge one half of the hinge just sitting there with nothing locking it down and I have to say this is a testament to the grabbing power of these pieces you try to do that with Lego it's gonna come right off just like that because Legos go right on really 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 easily and they come off really easily and I actually tried this with Legos and this part right here this this pastel blue part is what I'm talking about you, ha you would have to lock that down uh, preferably lock it down with, with something going to the side there and in the front here otherwise it's, it's gonna pop right off but if you notice I'm even trying just a little bit gently and they're not coming loose the grabbing power of the of the pieces in general is better than Lego and we're gonna be hearing this often because a lot of these other brands um, have the clutch power that is much better than Legos Legos go on to each other uh, very easily and you, they, just, they pop off really easily so you would have to lock them down so they don't they won't so that your model isn't going to fall apart and you try something like this with Legos it's going to fall apart it's not going to be able to stand up and this if we can have a look at the underside you just got the the, the part of the uh, the pastel blue part with the the hinge connected to the hinge and uh, a plate on top of it you would have to lock that down put something over here and put one of those boat under underside pieces and lock this down 
if it were Legos. And that's what I had to do with my my Lego version of this uh, this model. Is uh, lock everything down properly so it's not going to fall apart. Well, here we have such great grabbing power on, on these pieces that uh, you really don't have to do that. And um, so that makes it for some really, really nice durability. And on the, on the flip side, it takes more effort to get these pieces off. So you're going to have to, there, you're going to have to have to put some effort into it. And it takes more effort to get them onto each other. Now some of the grabbers are kind of loose. Some of the, uh, this one in the back here, we got the little bars. Some of them are kind of loose. You could move that. Let's check out this one here. These are tighter. So some of them, it, it varies in quality. The, the, the grabbers. The grabbers do. The, uh, the clippy clips. Uh, we got lots of clippy clips grabbing onto little bars here. Um, and then the legs, we've got uh, we've got a two by two section here holding these two halves together, and then each half is connected to these uh, parts with little bars there. If you do this with Legos, you're going to have to lock this down with a two by four something underneath to uh, to help it to stay together and maybe put something on here to help lock everything down. Um, if you're gentle with it, it's not going to, you know, if, if you're rough and tumble with it, it's probably going to fall apart because that's all we got holding these these uh, these leggy parts together here. Now, we got our cannons in the back. I like this color here, this this pastel blue and those are on the grabbers too so we can aim it and uh, they, they actually have a piece there that, that goes both ways it fits onto a and it fits very tightly <coughs> one of these And you got this this little part that fits both ways. And I don't know what these are. are these rocket launchers on the side. They just stuck those on the side there. Now the reason why it doesn't have a minifigure is in it is it does have a uh, a seat, a chair in there, and it has the uh, there's no sticker, there's no print on it. it it would be a control console, but they don't give us anything. And on the box, they show one of these aliens in there, so let's, we're not going to be able to get him to fit in. He's too tall. Um, okay. No. What you're going to have to do is take this off. Slopey slope. See if we can get the chair out. Get this out of there. Get rid of that. I don't like it. What we're going to have to do is put them maybe here. The, 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 the figure underside. Let me show you this real quick. That's what the underside is. It's built to go around the pegs, the, the studs instead of the normal Lego way. So his butt and his feet um, get on there. Are you gonna be nice to me? Are you gonna get on there? It takes some effort to get these guys to sit on the pegs. You, you sit them in the chair, and all you got is his feet, and that works, but we already tried that, and that doesn't work. So get rid of that, 
Mm. All right, keep, get on there. Mm. This is this is the same problem that best lock figures used to have. I used to have the hardest time getting them to sit down. Once you once I got them to sit down, it's, it's like don't touch them, don't pull them back off. Because I'll never be able to get him back on there again. There we go. I think. All right. Lean him back a bit. Put his arms down to him for his imaginary controls there. Maybe lean him back a bit more. There. So there is our alien in his little pod there. Straighten up his cannon there. He's ready to, to launch his invasion. Okay, we got these extra pieces here. Let's so that is the, the unmodified uh, walker, four-legged alien invasion module, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, mod, you know, um, could use some modification. When I did mine, I used the, the boat underside pieces with the cutout. So you got plenty of room to fit your guy in there with the bubble canopy over him. Here we just got, they're building on top of a little plate. They really need to use those bolt underside pieces that are cut out so you can fit, fit your minifigure. So you don't have to have them laying down like that. So that is this, uh, this model here. Let's set them aside. Let's have a look at the car. There's that, that nice pastel blue. And we get some of it in the front. We get some nice uh, these headlights or laser cannons. I don't know. In uh, the bright green. And uh, it's treated like a two-seater, but it can only fit one guy because you got to have room for his arms to be there. And these these railings on the side really restrict his uh, his arms be better if take them off use them for the base or something and then build build up something on the side underneath his his arms he's got a uh, steering wheel that's a bit too low for his hands steering wheel could be up a bit higher and an imaginary little control panel with nothing on it and the instructions were very vague on how to place this. Let me get out the instructions real quick. This, these are your instructions for this set. So let's let's just have a quick look at this. We got our parts list, and these are your instructions. Now, I can't even make out what's going on there. There's so much going on in each step. There's the scorpion, there's the base. I have to take my glasses off and have a really close look at it to, to see because it's, it's in such small print. Here's the car. And it's really vague on how you, how you position uh, this, this little imaginary control panel next to the there's our robot and that's we have to build the minifigures too out of these parts all the correct parts were there for the minifigs but this is your instruction manual so we can see how small it is and the small print so hopefully you can see my finger next to it and I have to have a really close look at it to, to understand how to how to build this stuff anyway here's our um, here's our car it's, it's not bad we got some of those uh, classic space uh, classic Lego space style uh, air tanks in the back there I don't know what they're doing there but it's cool to have those And a radar dish off to the side. You can, it's on a grabber, so you can position that. Here's 
another look at the other side there. Not bad. Let's have a look at, let's see if we can get him to not roll off here. Here's, here's the base. Now your minifigures can't really interact with this. Here's a minifigure and here's your base. There's no, it, it works better as a mini model of like a moon base or something like that. Uh, your minifigures cannot go inside and it's built on two different plates next to each other and there's very little holding the whole thing together we got these these big parts used for the, the roof here and then we got our parts holding the halves of the roof plus this gray one here and that's pretty much what's holding it together now, I do like these uh, these panels here with the nice green we got some I don't know what those would be laser guns uh, some kind of device it's it's a simple simple build but uh, it doesn't really serve much purpose we have this panel on the back which can't really do anything because of the tower uh, radar array that's uh I'm not sure what that's from but that that's from something else a different uh, Mega blocks, maybe something, and we have these panels, maybe solar panels on top of the. Uh, let's put them back so that they don't. There's a better look at it, and we get these nice. Uh, not the same as Lego. Well, I, I really don't know. Does does Lego make a piece where it zigzags back and forth like this? The uh, uh, what do you call this? The uh, the girder type construction. It's all one piece. We got open studs on the top. Pretty cool. But uh, it, it works better as a a mini model of a base because your minifigures can't really <coughs> can't really do anything. We can see the car right next to it, and the car is about as big as the base. So let's move on. We got our robot here. This is a uh, a mess of limbs. We, can, we got the, uh, the little grabbers grabbing onto the little bars throughout, and, and a quite complicated design here. I would say needlessly complicated. And can he can he actually stand up? Okay, I was wrong. He, you can actually get him to stand up. Well, here's our robot. Uh, we got some Mega Bloks parts there with the little bar sticking up. Well, that's that's a Mega Bloks piece. Something I find amusing. Let's see if we can get him to stand up again. You gonna stand? Something I find amusing. Uh, it, it's open season, so uh, these other companies. Are ripping each other off now <laughs> I and I like that because it means more cool stuff for us the consumers um, remind me to make a video sometime talking about my opinion of uh, copyright law and I don't know if you're gonna like it um, I'm in favor of you know what these companies are doing you know you, you would say that they're ripping off Lego but these are not a direct rip off of Lego parts they're um, they, they've they've made their own parts in the Lego style because they don't have the Lego logo on on the top Let's see if he's gonna stand um, what was I saying um, and and they, they, they they're they're ripping off a lot of a lot of companies are, are are ripping off old Mega Bloks parts and using them, and uh, I think that's good because because it means more cool stuff for us. But different topic, different video. Let's get back to what we're doing here. 
so we got some Mega Bloks parts. We got uh, actually got a very interesting piece here. I'll have to. I would have to take the whole thing apart. Where, where else does this piece show up? It shows up on our Scout Walker here. It's got the. Uh, I guess I'll just there we go it's got the pegs on this side and then open studs on that side and that is an old mega blocks part this is a cool piece I like this and it's used in the construction of the uh, the robot there how do I do this get this this section back together here. And it builds both ways. Let's put a pretty blue cannon on there. Alright, it's falling down. That's going to happen because the so, something happened to these uh, it's either the bars or the uh, the clippy clips so the quality is not quite uh, consistent is the word I'm looking for uh, so anyway we got our legs here and we can you know try to pose them but if we pose them any other way he's probably not going to stand up we have a little bar running through there it's, and we got this piece that builds both ways Got some more of that, just a little bit more of that uh, pretty blue. And the arms with laser blasters. These are very delicate. The, 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 the clippy clips just do not grab onto these little bars all that well. spin it around it's so and that fits right into there really easily and then it comes off really easily and hold your laser cannon dude malfunction malfunction yeah there's a malfunction here all right I, I set this aside okay here's our robot <laughs> as such as he is um, and I like this blue too. That's a nice, nice pastel. That's the only place in this set where we get this blue. So we got some colors that I like, but they only show up in in a few places. Error, malfunction. Yeah. Let's have a look at the scorpion thingy, and we're gonna notice that there is a. A limb broken here they use these hinges the same style as the walker with a whole bunch of uh, you know, little grabbers little clippy clips and then we got these uh, I'm not sure if that's block Tech's own design or if, if they stole it from someplace I don't know could be a mega blocks part Mega Bloks makes a lot. They have made a lot of stuff during their time. So we got the hinges here, the standard uh, plate hinges, and we're building off of that. And we have to build those. So we've got these. It's two parts with the. Uh, oh, we can see in the front here these these pretty blue ones. It's two two halves. You got the underside half, and then the half that goes on top and you click them together and they're really it's really difficult to get these these puppies together they come separately so you get a whole bunch of these uh, one by two things and you have to click them together and uh, among the assortment of parts were two oversized ones 
so I cannot finish my scorpion here we can see the little clicky joint connector of the hinge well I didn't get the other underside part so there are the limbs and we get these scorpion uh, crab like grabbers up front now if you try to try to do notice how one of the pieces is disconnecting a bit it's because your two two grabbers are pushing it try to go like that it's disconnecting a bit it only works if you go like well yeah because they're right next to each other the, uh, the grabbers are right next to each other and they, they push each other away so they kind of have to be like this like this one and then we got our scorpion tail such as it is not much of a scorpion tail I do like this nice green cone at the end there laser cannon we got that and there is our pilot now what is this there he is that's our pilot is this supposed to be a minifigure that's not a minifigure I don't know what this is but it's not a minifigure it's a minifigure head on something they even build the thing with these boat underside pieces with the cutouts so it, it's it's cut out it, it's it's uh, it's 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 a, a plate high on the bottom there on both of these parts and you sit your minifigure there and uh, that's how Lego makes boats and aircraft and all kinds of stuff they top it off with this big black plate that makes it useless and then they build a layer as we can see on top of there leaving no room to fit one of your minifigures in there so they give us this guy and this canopy is is nice it's uh it's ripped off from mega blocks it's a to rip off of an, of an old mega blocks part so it's nice to see that see this is why I'm in favor of this we, we we get we get more cool stuff we get we get this this nice 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 uh, canopy here apparently someone thought it was nice because they uh, they um, they took it and, and reverse engineered it from from the old Mega Bloks part, and that is the uh, scorpion such as he is. It's a mess of limbs here. Mm. And some of these are loose because we got the clippy clips there. And so I don't know if it's the clips or the bars. It's a bit too loose. This one's better that one's really good that one's got good gripping power so you pose that so the quality kind of varies I think it might be the clips and we got these these handlebars used as throughout as some kind of decoration on it there's our here's our, our missing limb because they gave us they gave me the wrong type of piece. Let's have a look at the minifigures. Here is our alien, and I believe the other one is the exact same guy. So we get two of the same guy. Here is our alien, and this is a, a different style of body part. It's, it's uh, bit different from Lego 
You have to build these guys and his 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 arms. Uh, you have to install the the green part of the arm. It's on a little ball joint in there. Kind of move around just a little bit. Not sure why they uh, they they do it that way. It, it doesn't have that much of a articulation. It doesn't have that much of an but it's different and, uh, you, you can't really get his get him get his elbow to bend much like Lego figures with the, the uh, they're bent properly and looks looks more natural but he's a happy he's a happy alien invader check him out I like him a uh, very basic print on the torso there as we can see some kind of uh, design there's the back and that's a closer look at the ridges that the you, 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 you sit them down and uh, that's why I had so difficult so much difficulty with that before because of how it's designed it's not designed like uh, Lego minifigures and he's got this nice little hat with the antennas with the antennae here is a, an astronaut and he is the same deal with a different uh, different print on his on his body he's got the same style of uh, legs and feet same style of arms I don't know why he's got it uh, looks like he has a t-shirt on and he's he's got the uh, the arms he should he's in a space suit he's, uh, he's out in space this should be white going up to you know, the whole thing should be white he should be wearing gloves too because he's in a space suit but this is how other block tech many figures are there's uh, dino park safari type stuff there's uh, police fire fire emergency and um, let's see what else what else is there Dinosaur, Jurassic Park, um, police, fire, oh, and military. And the other figures are the same way, all with the short sleeves. So our space, our spacemen get the same, same overall design. We can see the little ball joint there, and he's just a little bit of articulation on that. He's got a happy face under there. This is a uh, it's not the normal plastic it's it's it's, it's kind of rubbery and you, you fit it over his head and uh, I don't know if I could be, get it off but it doesn't matter it's, all we see is his eyes he's got he's got a little smile but uh, it doesn't really matter and what is up with this what is this Mars mission Lego Mars mission I hated Lego Mars mission give him some kind of transparent uh, visor so we can so we can see through and see him how's he supposed to see through that uh, maybe it's like uh, I don't know it's something I, I just do not like these visors and our other minifigures are the same here is what passes as our pilot it's just a head we got the the helmet and the visor and here is his it looks like part of his body and he's holding some kind of controls and that goes into the scorpion there uh, yeah so we get uh, we, we get the guy that I that I installed in, into the walker the guy who's driving the car and then the, these two guys and this guy I'm not going to rate this set I'm not going to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 I'm not going to offer my recommendation I'm go just showing it this is it this is what we get lots of small parts 
we can fit them all into this baggie here and I will fit them all in there when I'm done um, it has some nice parts um, it has some some of those uh, um, air tanks from classic Lego space I don't know if they're the exact same one or something that block tech made on their own we got uh, lots of grabbers lots of little clippy clips and lots of little bars um, and some mega blocks parts we got the canopy here nice to see that um, it has some good and some not so good so uh, this is this is the best thing I, I think about this set it's it's uh, even this 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 here it it could use a bit of modification it, it could use some better better clippy clips uh, back here I replace those with you know, find some better ones but uh, maybe add some detail to it uh, fix it up a bit with uh, some uh, modifications that's the best part I'm not fond of the scorpion although I might take inspiration from that and and uh, make a scorpion for my uh, Galaxy Squad insectoids that might be similar, might not be similar. I like the car. This this one turned out really nicely. It's, it's a nice uh, nice design on it overall. Although it's it it is um, missing a few pieces here and there. You know you could fill it out a bit. We got this empty part in the front. I don't know why they didn't put something underneath underneath there um, maybe add some headlights and some stuff in the back there and the uh, the base is is just too small it's too small to, to serve as as a functional base and the robot is it's too delicate way too delicate and he does he does stand up I stand corrected. I was convinced that, that that I would not be able to get this guy to stand. I was I was convinced that he would fall over, but um, can't get him to hold on to his, his other laser cannon there, so he's pretty useless. Has some good and has some bad. We got we got some really great clutch power to the parts. So you can you can take all this apart and then build something of your own design. Uh, build a mock, a block tech mock. How about that? Uh, and the parts are going to fit together really well. They're going to grab onto each other, most of them. Some of the grabbers are kind of iffy. So, I mean, clippy clips. So, we got some variety in the quality department. Some of it's not, not that good. Uh, Many figures are, are fine for, for what it is. Um, I'm not going to rate it. I'm not going to offer a recommendation. I'm just showing it. Here's what it is. This is what you get. Um, that is the uh, 434 piece Space Galaxy Alien Invasion Block Tech. Thank you for watching. All the parts for Alien Invasion Space Galaxy in one bag. Here is our massive box. Can I get it open? And we got some bags of parts from other block tech sets in there. There's all your parts. You can fit several block tech sets in here. Alien invasion. 
Space Galaxy by Block Tech. 